In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your WAMP program for database management. Uh, you had, you should have already installed the program as per the instructions on Blackboard. So your program is now installed and I want to show you here how to use the program. Okay, so if you've installed the program correctly, you should see uh, an icon that looks like this, a W and then WAMP server. You should see that icon on your desktop. So, of course, here I'm showing it to you with Windows 7, but it's the same thing on Windows 8 also, you'll see it on your desktop. So once you have it on the desktop, you can start the server by double clicking the icon. Of course, you're going to have some question that Windows 7 or Windows 8 is going to ask you. Say yes. Then, you will pretty much see nothing happening on the screen because this is a server program. You're not going to see any big impact directly on the screen, but you might see some things happening down below on your status bar. Okay, so uh, on Windows 8, you should switch to your desktop view, you know, not the usual tablet view, but instead switch to the other view. And then on the status bar, you, you might see a W right here in fact, you probably see a W there uh, uh, or you might see it if you see this small triangle, uh, small triangle, click it and then you would, might see a W there. Okay. Now, in all likelihood, your W is not colored green. It's probably colored red and uh, it was probably on the status bar itself instead of here. No matter, wherever it is, first thing you need to do is to click on the W okay and then you should click on Apache not click on just take your cursor to Apache and then go to service and then it's you can do a test port 80 okay and then uh, normally port 80 should not be occupied on a computer on which you're not running a server but it's possible that port 80 might be occupied if you're using a program like Skype which also uses that port. So it's a good idea for you to uh, click port 80. I mean, click the test thing. And then it says, in my case, it says port 80 is actually used by this server. And of course, that's because my WAMP server is running. In your case, if port 80 is not being used, it'll say port 80 is actually not being used. Or if it's being used by some program, it'll tell you which program is actually using it. Okay, so if you have Skype running, you would probably get the message saying port 80 is being used by Skype. Then, of course, if port 80 is being used by a program other than Apache, then you need to close that program down first before you can proceed. Okay, so once you close that program, you can then uh, click on this uh, and click on the W icon again. And then you can go to Apache and then say services uh, service and then you can say install service okay in my case i'm not going to do that because i've already done it so once you say install service it'll come up with a window saying your system is currently blocking this apache program do you want to allow it and then you can say allow it okay this is not what you'll see this is just an error on my computer okay so once you say allow it'll install the server I mean, it'll uh, allow the server to run. And then again, you click on this. And then if it says put online, see the server has to be online before programs can access the server. Okay. So if it says put offline, then of course, it means that it's already online. So there's nothing you need to do. But if it says put online, then you need to click put online. Okay. Uh, and that's it. And then maybe once you can just say restart all services then say put online and you should be good to go so once you have done that your servers should all be running and all you need to do to make sure that your servers are running is to again go to w and then just click on either uh, i would suggest click on uh, php my admin okay or you could click on localhost in which case it will open a browser and show this screen that you're seeing here right uh, then you can actually close this tab down uh, go back 
click on this click on this and then PHP my admin if you see the screen then you know that all is good of course your screen won't look exactly like my screen because I your database is empty whereas I already have several databases on my computer but you should generally see this screen so once you have the screen then I suggest that you take a screenshot of the screen uh, by doing you know print screen on your keyboard or whatever mechanism is on the latest and greatest laptop that you have and save that screenshot and that's what you'll submit as your submission for assignment 3 that's it